you start the video while I'm doing this? Turn that off. Get that little car right there. And then I'm gonna slide this one in just like that. And then we're gonna turn it right back on. Whoops. So what's up guys? We are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video so you'll never miss another video that we post. So today we are going out to check our trail cameras, obviously. So let's just get right into it. That's right, Houston and I are out checking our game cameras, and I'm telling you what, this this part of deer hunting is probably, it, I get more enjoyment, more excitement out of the, running these game cameras and checking the cameras and seeing what all is coming in to our food plots and the corn piles and the bait piles and all that stuff than I really do even hunting anymore. I absolutely love taking my kids hunting and letting them kill it. There we go. Well, Houston just threw the whole bag of corn on the ground. I guess that works. But, I, I mean, I absolutely love taking the kids out and letting them hunt, but this part, uh, it's just so neat to see what comes in and gets their picture taken on these game cameras. It's just one of those things, when I was a little kid, you know, you, we hunted for days and days and days, and, you know, you, you might get a glimpse of one of those big bucks every once in a while, but with game cameras coming so far the way they have, I mean, these little cameras take amazing pictures and videos even at night, and... You, you just get to see so many more deer and it's um it's it's easier to make yourself get up and get out of bed when it's you know 12 degrees outside when you know there's three or four big bucks that have been coming in on camera so anyways we're going to check these cameras and see what all we got over the last couple days houston's putting out a little bit of corn and i've got one camera that i put on the driveway that had some really cool pictures I put one there for you know kind of different reasons. I put one on the edge of the driveway so I can see who's coming in and out of our property when we're not home. And if you set it up just right, you can get license plates or at least a vehicle description. But I had some really cool pictures there the other night. Can I tell you what we saw? Okay, so while my dad were gone to Florida, me and Emma weren't home. But I don't think Weston was either. And Dad had a trail camera. Coyote is on our driveway. Okay? One minute later, Bear is right where the coyote was. Sniff it's it, sif, yeah. Sniffing its poop. That's right. Well, we'll show him, okay? Yeah. I think that was a little too far there, eh? I'm gonna throw some more closer. That is awesome, dude. I like the sound. It's satisfying. Hey. Oh. You said I threw it all too far. So I threw some close. And the feed I threw close. Nothing's even interested in. But they are out there. All right, let's go check the next camera. Yeah. 
hang on, hang on. What, 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 what? How did that even count of hanging? <laughs> because I wrapped it around that stick. But you guys may notice on our game cameras that you'll see these blocks hanging. These are our molasses blocks, molasses blocks that we're testing out for a company. They sent us about four or five boxes and I'm really not even going to talk about the company. It's not important right now. We're just trying to get pictures, see what comes in. But they sent us four or five different different uh, flavors, didn't they, Houston? Do you remember yeah. what flavors they sent? There was grape. Grape. Mm, watermelon. Yeah, watermelon. Peanut butter. Peanut vanilla. Butter. And I'm telling you what, they smell delicious. And if you get that oil on your hands, it smells like that for hours, doesn't it? They are stout. So we'll see over the next couple months what they do. Last year we had some similar blocks to these and the big bucks really would come in there and just lick on them like crazy. But we shall see, huh? I tell him I got her deer. usually hang those blocks from a limb but uh, sometimes the good old electric hot wire fence post works does the trick four hundred and forty two pictures Houston That works. Let's go to the house. Okay, so earlier in the video, we mentioned that we put a game camera here on our driveway. I don't have it here right now. I, I moved it to a different spot, but so we had a, a, a camera up just on a tree along the edge of our driveway. And I do this quite often just as like an extra security measure, but it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the house is just right through the trees right there. So we're at most probably about a, about a hundred, maybe 125 yards from our house but we live on a long road and i was shocked to see how many coyotes are coming up and down this road on a nightly basis i mean all the time and as you can see bear is definitely doing his job 
bear is always on duty and we can hear him barking at night but you just really never know why he's barking but clearly he's doing his job and getting after those coyotes So as you can see, we've got a lot of animals coming into our game cameras, a lot of deer. There's always a ton of does and fawns coming in, but we do have a few decent bucks that have Houston pretty wound up and excited for the youth rifle season, which is coming up pretty quick. Youth rifle season in Oklahoma was like mid-October, so it's not far away. And uh, it's always cool just to be able to see what's on those cameras. Do what? I said crap because I slipped. You excited about deer hunting? Yeah. You got your buck picked out yet? Uh, we, we, we've seen one, and that just might be the one. It's an eight-pointer. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Houston is pumped to get to hunt on his own this year, or actually get to hunt not on his own by himself, but with me, obviously. Like, and but shooting. That's right. Okay. Houston's. this is going to be his first year to actually be behind the gun and possibly harvest his own deer. So, anyways, as I was saying, though, it's really cool just to see what all comes into those game cameras. Hang on, hang on, just hang on. Okay. It's really cool to see what comes into those game cameras. I would encourage you, if you live in the country, even if you're not into hunt, hunting or anything, just get you a game camera and put some, some sort of attractant out in front of it. You'd be surprised at how many raccoons and possums and squirrels and skunks and foxes and bobcats and all that stuff comes in. I mean, we get pictures of turkeys. We get pictures of owls. We've had all kinds of cool. We've even got otters on game camera before, haven't we, Houston? Yeah. So one thing people always ask is which game cameras we recommend or which ones are the best or whatever. I've used just about every company under the sun. We do hunt with a show on TV called Final Descent Outdoors. So one of the companies that Final Descent Outdoors has picked up this year is Revel Cellular Cameras. They're called, this one's called the Tacticam. I've never actually used a cellular game camera, but I'm really thinking about putting at least one of the, I've got a couple of them. I've got uh, 
I, th I think this would be really good on my driveway for that extra security. So the way these cameras work is if it has cell phone service, which we kind of struggle with in our area, if it picks up the cell phone service in a good spot, it will actually text you pictures or send them to an app and notify you that something's moving in front of your camera. You can pick it up and see it in real time. So I, I haven't got these, whoa, haven't got these out of the box, even testing them out at all yet. I'm gonna get them all set up and, and ready to go. They're not a sponsor of our channel. This came through Final Descent Outdoors. So it works with AT&T and Verizon. So I think, I don't know, we'll test them out and see what it does. But I think it will add a really good extra layer of security for our farm so it just notifies us when somebody's on our driveway or when animals are close or whatever it is so but uh anyways guys that's all i've got for today i hope you enjoyed looking at all our game camera pictures we've got pigs and deer and all kinds of cool stuff moving around and uh coyotes everywhere it's crazy those coyotes are you know at night they're 100 yards from our house and bear does his job keeping them off we've never lost a goat to a coyote as long as we've had bear or cali our original great pyrenees livestock guardian so they do their job even though those coyotes are in here pretty close so guys i'm gonna wrap it up that's all i've got for today thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video